Please like and subscribe. My first rapid fire drill is the three ball drill. That's where whoever has two throws one. The pitcher while she is throwing is keeping a ball in her glove arm, which I think is very helpful to strengthen the glove arm since it tends to be weaker. So in turn, I've gotten a lot of pitchers to increase speed for just doing this uh, 100 times. Here she's switching into change up so you can see you can throw different pitches. And the important part about this is it makes the pitcher's timing order sequence become automatic so that come game time, it, they don't have to think about mechanics. It's just there for them. They just think, hit your spots and throw the pitch. They can think about the game itself, not mechanics. And this gets the heart rate up, so that's another reason why I love the three-ball drill. I use it a lot for a warm-up before a variable practice where we're working the strategy, right-handed batter, left-handed batter, and slappers. And then this drill is also the three-ball drill, and she is alternating pitches. <clears throat> and again, this is about being able to become smooth from one pitch to the next so that they're, the pitcher is more deceptive with the change-up. Um, and it looks just like the fastball. So she's patterning herself one pitch directly after the next so that it becomes uh, very, very smooth, very fluid. And uh, it looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same from one pitch to the next. Um, and you, there's many different variations of the three ball drill. This is just how I teach my pitchers. I love that you can shorten your practice time with it. So if your goal is to get 100 reps, you can do it in five to 10 minutes and then uh, be done for the day. So in case you're, you're a multi-sport athlete or you're a high schooler trying to juggle friends and softball at the same time, it really helps. This is with the oversized ball. And um, this is where you take the tension grip and then that tension is developing better finger strength. And I love this because again, it emphasizes the, uh, the, you know, the force that you have to use on the glove arm. This is a rise ball that she's throwing right here. And you can turn your pitches, curve ball, screw ball, whatever it is into the three ball drill. Here I put her on a beam um, because she has, uh, she struggles staying on the power line. So like I said before, there's many different variations that you can do with this. Um, and this is a beam with a band. And so she's trying to pull the back heel up the power line and of course strengthening it at the same time, which is um, good because uh, whenever we get stronger, it's easier to repattern the habit. And now we have the uh, balance beam again and the box. Here is just the three ball drill with the box. And these girls are trying to sit more into their posterior chain. So we just isolated that motion where their heel is up in the box and they're trying not to touch it with their shoe. And then they are doing the three ball drill. And here is a different look. She is doing, um, well, it's not rapid fire, but you can turn that into rapid fire. This is hip angle. So you're gonna see in just a second, she is, um, doing rapid fire and she is changing hip angle from stride leg in front to drag leg in front and then back to stride leg in front and just alternating. And what it does is it gives the emphasis on the hip angle. Then you try to apply it into the real pitch with the same hip angle, belly button forward facing because that sets you deeper into the posterior chain so that you're driving from the muscles from the back side, not pulling from the muscles on the front side. And uh, here she actually starts getting into a better rhythm. And that's important is getting into a rhythm where they are strong and smooth. Um, <clears throat> then it's easier to carry over into the real thing, into the full pitch, because it's just, uh, you know, more comfortable for them. Um, and that's like chicken wing right there. So ignore that. And there you go. There's a good hip angle. Now we have regular pitch, straight leg in front. Hip angle or emphasis on the hip angle pitch. She did great right there. And then I would rather her do three ball drill like the other girl was doing, keeping the glove arm active. Okay, here, here comes my glove arm drills. And I love this. So they do have a band connected to their shoe that they're having to pull and at the same time hold up a weight. This is a killer drill. 
Um, and they're trying to keep their heel up. They're trying to hold their right shoulder over right hip over right knee and empty the bucket out as fast as they can. And the faster they empty it, the better because this drill can become painful because it's so fatiguing on that glove side. And it teaches the pitcher not to pull their glove arm out, which is huge. So here, we're doing the same thing and you'll see she has the band well it's hard to see but she does have a band connected from her arm to her shoe and that band is pulling force down and what she's trying to do is hold that up and she hold her arm up inside of her shoulders pointed to her target and she's got to isolate that feel now this is huge because whenever you have a pitcher that swims um they usually are dropping their back heel and then they're changing posture it's a whole domino effect of that habits that result from that you know one thing dropping the heel this forces them to stay heel up and glove arm up and when you have those two points up it gives this pitcher this different kind of feel through their core and their posterior chain where they just have better stability a faster pitch and it the results are just awesome so it's not just heel up it is glove arm up helping to frame the shoulders hold that core tight so when you have both sides up we just get a better pitch um <clears throat> And there's the weight that she was holding. Oh, here is the band. I think a step called it a band on that, that last picture that she was doing or the last video that she was doing. So now you can see the band. Um, and now we're just doing the same exact thing. And I'm actually videoing this time. I should be handing her the ball so that she could go faster and she doesn't have to change her posture in between each pitch. Um, but I took a hold of the camera here so that I could make sure that the band was showing. Um, and yeah, it's just rapid fire. And this is great for someone to do if they're just thrown to a pitch back and they have a bucket of balls. Um, they can grab a weight like in the last video. Or if you have the band to connect to from the shoe to the glove, that is wonderful too. And here we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to feed her the softballs. Um, and she's got the weight in this one, so it's not the band. And again, you can combine them. Just judge the strength of your pitcher because there's many different ways that you can do this. Um, and if you have a high schooler age, um, feel free to do both at the same time, just as a different dynamic, um, making it a little bit harder. Things to know about when your pitcher is doing this is make sure that they are keeping the plyo ball, that's that little one pound ball that she's holding inside of her shoulders and not allowing it to jerk outside of her shoulders. Also watch her heel, you want her heel to remain up. Very similar to hitting stance with her right shoulder over her right hip, over her right knee if she's right handed. Um, and right now she shouldn't be taking a step. You see how she's taking that little step. Try to get them to find good core stability and lower half stability where their feet aren't moving around. When they are in control of themselves and their feet, they are going to just simply pitch better. And then moving on to the next video. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, this is another glove arm. Um, and here, this is going to work a whole lot on that stability. Her biggest issue with this pitcher is she was taught to turn at a 90. So we're trying to keep her into her posterior chain and keep her more belly button forward hips facing catcher um, and not in that turn. Now, if she does that turn, she's going to collapse and not be able to push on that bar towards me. Um, and this is another good stability drill as well. We have a BOSU ball flipped upside down and she's just doing the three ball drill on it. So this is really just another three ball drill variation that we're doing in this one where whoever has two throws one. Um, and uh, we usually do about the same amount of reps. Um, you'll have to build up to it, uh, about 100. And <clears throat> this um, is, I'm trying to get her to lean back. She likes to drop her shoulders, drop her heel. And um, so we're trying to get her to sit into her posterior chain. You see how she's fighting it. It's because she's not used to it. And again, a different variation of the three ball drill. And then this is working on glove arms staying inside the shoulders. I'm actually videoing doing this one. And so it really would be best if you had someone feed the ball to them so that they could go faster. And this is a great drill that can be done into a pitch back. Thank you for watching.
please remember to subscribe to my channel because it really helps and like the video comment too if you would like it will help me get ranked in the youtube algorithm